Well, good morning. I'm uh, here with uh, Monica and Tala. We're here to speak about uh, FizTech. Well, first of all, welcome. And thank you very much for uh, taking the time to talk to us today. Really appreciate that. Thank so you very much. Let's for kick us. off. Maybe you could uh, tell us a little bit about what FizTech is. Sure. Uh, so FizTech is a national program to address the severe shortage of qualified high school physics teachers. And it is the flagship education program of the American Physical Society in partnership with AAPT. So how does it work? Well, so what FizTech does is it works directly with physics departments. Um, so for example, the physics department at University of Central Florida has received funding from the FizTech project to build a model physics teacher education program. How important is this? I mean, how bad is the shortage of physics teachers? And, and is, this, you know, is this a big priority for, for, for the APS? Absolutely. So um, about 15 years ago, APS, along with some of the other physics professional societies, got together and said, you know, this is probably the most severe issue that is facing uh, physics education. And, um, you know, only less than half of all high school physics classrooms are led by a teacher who has a degree in physics. So on the ground at University of Central Florida, well, what's your experience? Well, I, you know, first of all, when we heard about the first tech program, this was soon after I got to Central Florida, that was 2006, and I got uh, into looking at how do we reform the way we teach and how do we make uh, the uh, physics departments more appealing uh, for uh, undergraduates, because sure. one of the problems that physics departments have is that it's a, it's a hard barrier for students to come into. So I looked into FizTech and I think what I would like to emphasize here is that this is not just a program for uh, training teachers, which is the main goal and we are on the way to that. Uh, but in the process, you have to have a recipe and there is, for example, one element is that you have to have a teacher in residence, that's a high school teacher who you have amongst your faculty and this uh, person acts as a liaison with undergraduates, with College of Education and us. And the other is a learning assistance program, which has been phenomenal for us, because this is where we, it's peer instruction. Right. So essentially what it has done is that it has made us reform the way we teach into a more interactive, active learning environment, which actually has helped us recruit many more students. Our undergraduate population has gone up three times. Wow. Yeah, really? we have about yeah. 200 undergraduates now. We had 70 in 2006, so, so that's one. Uh, we have a lot of students now who, because they're teaching and because they're given a training in pedagogy, they actually are very comfortable. And some may go into teaching and some may not, but the one thing they all tell you is that being in this program has helped them learn better. So the program has been a success? It's been fantastic. What's the next step? Well, so the next step, uh, so the FizTech project has now established a national coalition of institutions, more than 300 institutions, that are committed to the mission of the project, which is to improve the education of, of future teachers and of physics. And so what we're looking at is how do we more broadly support that large national coalition uh, to double the number of, of physics teachers that are educated each year. Well, that's fantastic. Well, thank you both very much indeed for joining us. It's really interesting to find out more about it, so thank you very much. Thank you.